Welcome back to Let's Talk World with Maria and I still have here Mr. Iran Ramirez, Hello. the astrologist. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, so I guess we're going to be starting reading your chart and oh. if you want to know uh, how to, I guess, get their own... Let, let me ask you yeah. something first before we go to that. All right. Um, Please don't read my birth date. No, 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 no. <laughs> I won't. Joe, I, I know, checking. you're trying now. Joe, you're trying, but no. We're just, uh -uh. just going to read uh -uh. the signs and the planets. That's all, I promise you. We're not going to give any numbers. Are you going to read my palms too? Uh, if you would want me to, but then once again, that's up to you. It's oh that. my God, I never did it. Do you think I'm going to scare, get scared or I'm going to faint or whatever? No, 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 no. If you feel uncomfortable with it, just don't do it. I mean, you have to, you kind of have to be open-minded and, and kind of like, uh, uh, I guess just can take you, it in. Can you just read my love life? Yeah. <laughs> I can read the love life. Yeah, I can do that. Just, one. just the read the, just the love read, life. Yeah, I can read just the I love think life. I'm, I'm, I think since I'm single forever, <laughs> I think it's good to know about that. So I know I know what to expect and how to actually um, push it away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we gotta do the chart first. Yep. All right. Uh, so like I said, if you guys are interested in knowing where your planets are, what you want to do is go to Astro. Um, it's called Cafe Astrology. Uh, just Google it, and it'll, I leave you something like this. I know you can't see it, but this will you input your information, your birth date, the birth time, and the location. Uh, it's very important to know the birth time because the birth time uh, gives you more details, uh, even about your past life. <laughs> Believe it or not, I love to know that. Right, my but, past life. Yeah, that would be with the with the birth time. You know, we would have to know oh. exactly. So right now, what I'm just going to can I read, just give you a, a radius <laughs> of what time? I believe um, in the mid, in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, we'll have to uh, work with that later. Because okay. the thing is, like, it has to be exact. It can't, because uh, we use the exact snap picture. It can't. Um, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so right. excited, viewers. Let's see. So, like I said, all this information, you guys can uh, Google it and stuff. It's on Cafe Astrology, so we can you guys interpret your own charts. Um, what I'm going to do mostly is just use the this, and I'm going to read off it from what I see from the symbols uh, of Maria over here. So we're going to start. And a lot of people, I guess, we're not, I guess we'll go for, if you guys are interested, we'll do it in the first introduction of why astrology works. But right now we're just going to go uh, straight, straight into it. Because you're going to do that on your first show, you know what yes. I mean? Yes. Yes. So uh, we have your son in Libra, as we know, you're born in uh, October 16th, right? Oh my God! <laughs> no, we know the birthday. Yeah, just okay. We're just saying that it's the sun. Okay, uh, it's the sun, yeah, okay. That's, that's when you were born. Um, so Libra... The way there there uh, are is a win cardinal sign. So what win cardinal is is cardinal is that they're uh, they want to be leaders, and especially because it's win is with words. So sometimes uh, they can seem to other people as uh, their their way of leading. Mm -hmm. They can be uh, easily followed or swayed. They're also in the middle of the scale of all the signs. So that's why it's a Libra. So a lot of times Libra is that um, the, their mentality is they can see both sides of stories. And it's always them that they, they, and then they always feel like they have to take a side. And they usually take the side that does not like rock the boat because Libra's always trying to keep everything balanced. Um, it's also about uh, partnerships and relationships, meaning that Libras start relationships at a very young age or they want to start relationships at a young age because uh, it's the house of partnerships. But this, I explained to you, this, was, this is what also, um, I guess, makes it the house of divorces. So that means that they also have the most breakups because they always end up dating the first person they meet and then it breaks up, you know, but that's Libra. They, um, they, they love being with partnerships or with somebody, they're the kind of person that would say, uh, come to the store with me or do this with me because they don't want to go alone. They want somebody with them. They want to because, uh, and they, one thing that they do too, and Libra is a lot, um, or I guess we'll go more to that one, but that's because there's, there's and, a lot, and I, a lot like of people said, and a lot of people see it as uh, as a weakness, but it's not a weakness. No, no, no. Uh, all the cardinal signs are actually known to be the some the of the most the, the stronger signs, and then the, the next one is the fixed and the mutables. But the all the cardinal signs usually have strong personalities, or they're very uh, I don't want to say go getters. Then uh, they are a bit like that because uh, Libra. And cardinal means like if they're driving, they don't like, want to be behind somebody if they're going too slow. They'll, they'll go ahead or something, you know? <laughs> they, want to, they want to get there quicker. Um, but we're going to go next to, to your moon. We love to rush. <laughs> we like to rush. Um, now, your moon is in the constellation of Scorpio. So the moon represents everything about your past. Uh, Scorpio is the planet of death, rebirth, 
and uh, sex. <laughs> yes, yeah. astrology does deal with stuff like that. We love uh, sex. It, yes, yes. So, it, but when the moon is in Scorpio, uh, what that means is that in your past, you were surrounded with a lot of uh, change because it's the planet of transformation. So if somebody probably met you when you were younger, when you were uh, you know, in a younger girl, to where you are right now, you're a completely different person because it's a phoenix, it's constantly reborning. So in your, in your early ages, I can tell you that you went through a lot of phases that I want to do this, but it switched, it became better. Yeah. But it, in Scorpio, also known as the most powerful sign of the zodiac, because mm -hmm. they're constantly improving and getting better. But let me tell you about, mm -hmm. uh, about the sex part. Uh, mm -hmm. We love sex, but we yes. know who we want to, right? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not like, okay. Mm -hmm. but that's I just want to I just wanna <laughs> clarify that. Yes. A lot, of, the, a lot of people knows about that. Well, this one is not really more about your sexuality. What the moon represents mostly about your home life. That's why. Like, if Venus is the one that does more of your, your sexual encounters and Mars, too. Uh, but this, the moon, all it represents is your family and your past. So from what I can tell you is that you were surrounded by a lot of change in your early life, as well as uh, you possibly could have lost you know, family members or people close to you at an early age, and you, were, and you had to deal with it. Um, so that's what the moon is. So th this one uh, doesn't really have to do more with sexual, but I guess just your transformation as you grew up. Mm -hmm. uh, next, you have Mercury in Scorpio, another Scorpio trait. Uh, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and it uh, it uh, is the one that it it's the one that um, that uh, revolves around the quickest. So when it when Mercury is in your chart in Scorpio, uh, it it. I'm kind of Scorpio how you, it, yeah, yeah, it, it kind of rules how you communicate. And Scorpio is known as being a detective. So the way you communicate, you can be kind of like... Uh, I can relate. Yeah, yeah, you can, I can you relate. Can, you can kind of uh, try to figure, I guess, figure out people. Or maybe if, if someone you feel like someone's like lying to you or not telling you the truth, you go and you investigate darker and darker. Because Scorpio is, is a fixed water sign. And water is so deep. So the way when she goes to certain things, when she uh, when she's trying to investigate, she'll go to the deepest part of it until she finds the until she's yes. fully satisfied. Yes, I love that. Uh, and then your communication as well, because Scorpio is about transformation. It's changed from when you were younger. It's the way you speak. Probably you used to uh, uh, be less talkative when you were younger, mm -hmm. but now it's changing. So the way your communication is constantly changing, and it changes yes. depending. Yeah, I talk a lot. Around. Yeah, depending on who you're around, people. Um, I'm a talker. The talking mostly comes from the all the air signs. All the air signs love to talk. I'm Aquarius, so air. Believe it or not, Libra and Aquarius get along really well. They're actually um, we click right away. Yeah, right away. They're they're known to actually have like shows with two people, either Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, because they can talk all day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna go next to Venus. This is now. This is what you were talking about. Um, which is your love life, and it's in Libra. So uh, are you gonna? Uh, no, that's not for uh, for palm reading. This oh, is still okay. for astrology. Like I was saying, you're wondering like about your love life. Uh -huh. um, so it's in Libra. So that means that you have a strong, uh, I guess, a strong determination to be with somebody, uh -huh. especially at an early age. And remember, I told you Libras usually that are in love. They usually don't ever leave somebody until they find someone else. That's just the Libra way to do it. Even during a bad relationship, to stick to it. But yeah, you know, when, when they it. find someone else, they'll leave that person because they they're used they they want relationships. It's you very know, important. What, what I noticed about mm -hmm. that is actually uh, you. We love to have choices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and may the ma best man win, right? Right, right. Are you reading my uh, palm now? No, no we're yet. still doing. Yeah, we're okay, still doing. We, we, we got, we got okay. three more plans to go, and then okay. we'll go into the palm reading if you desire that. Uh, so Mars, Mars is the way you, uh, I guess. Can do we action. can we continue the Mars on uh, the last seg on the yeah. next segment? Yeah. Yes, we're gonna come back. You, if this is exciting, <laughs> and you know, I just couldn't wait uh, for my palm to be actually read by Mr. Iran. You're the first one who's gonna read my palm. Oh my God! But anyways, viewers, we will be right back on the fourth segment. Get excited, right? Get excited because I am very excited. We'll see you guys back. Please stay tuned.